this video displays just a few breakthrough capabilities and advantages of cryoimaging and quantitative autoradiography, CICA. We begin by traveling into the cryomicrotome and animating through a Sprag dolly rat. From this fly-through animation, we are able to cube out regions of interest and create a 3D rendering. This model includes renderings of the kidney, spleen, stomach, liver, and vasculature. For demonstrative purposes, we will travel inside the hepatic vein, and as we move through, we are able to see branching of the vasculature. As proven in this demonstration, accurate renderings of smaller structures can be easily distinguished and created. Now we will show a 3D model of the heart. We are able to travel through a transparent or wireframe model. 3D modeling allows us to capture accurate measurements of the region of interest. Within the renderings, we are able to interlace autoradioluminograms. These autoradioluminograms are collected during the image capturing process at consistent specified depths throughout the entire region of interest. In this model, autoradioluminograms were collected every 500 micrometers. The gaps represent the locations of where each autoradioluminogram is placed. The green color represents the mean concentration of 14C acetaminophen in the blood. The blue color represents the mean concentration of 14C acetaminophen in the heart. Now we will demonstrate how CICA applies to other areas of the pharmaceutical industry such as transporter expression. We have modeled the brains of PEP1 knockout, PEP2 knockout, and wild type mice. The high radioactive regions are represented by the red side of the scale, while the lower levels of radioactivity are represented by the blue side of the scale. CICA is meant to be a complementary technique to help add to the knowledge gained from other imaging modalities. The recent advancements can be used to provide useful information in many other fields, such as toxicology, pharmacology, neurology, and oncology.